sorry. Just sussing all these shares out, everybody. I uh, won't be too long with you. The uh, internet down in... Um, see if anyone can guess where I am tonight. That'd be interesting. Not not anyone who's watching my stories, though. <laughs> Oh, you're talking about Andrew, Andrew, Andrew. <laughs> Come on. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I'm with you now. So look, what was that? That's that's like three minutes, man. And that's just you know, that's what it is. But what's up, guys? Uh, good to see a whole bunch of you jumping on, saying g'day. Uh, let us know in the comments uh, what's your side hustle. What is it you do? Um, who is working a day job? I'm doing that, and then um, building out. Uh, you know, um, like they say, your your nine to five um, will pay your bills, but your uh, five to nine will give you a lifestyle. And um, I really believe that, and I've, I've um, you know, I've lived that, lived that, lived that life uh, quite a few times, um, building up a few different things, and um, it's it's an exciting, uh, it's exciting journey. Sometimes it's frustrating because you, um, you know, your, your day job tires you out. Like today, I, I mean, I just drove three hours. So uh, anyone who can guess where I am, but um, it is uh, a fair way, uh, a fairly small. A uh, coastal town somewhere in New Zealand. Um, the what do we what do we say about this place? Um, yeah, the population of about six thousand people. So see if anyone can um, see if anyone can get that why they why they're jumping on. But side hustles. So um, you know, I started out by doing. Um, alongside my my wheel and tire business i started building out an event with a good buddy of mine and um we had a lot of success with that event but crikey it it took a lot of it, it was probably four years of doing it um as as a hustle for for more or less to be fair <laughs> not much return at all until we started to get some numbers and started to see some, some critical mass with it um but a side hustle, what is a side hustle? A side hustle can really be anything. It could be, you could be a photographer, a videographer, you could be a graphic designer that does things, you know, um, after hours. Uh, you could be a mechanic who does people's brakes and servicing at night, you know. Um, there, there is so many, um, so many definitions to it. So I, I think usually, usually the way people fall into a, a side hustle, and this certainly has been for me, is, 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 um, you know, taking skills that you do during your day job and then figuring out how to monetize them um, without being in competition to your day job is generally the uh, generally the ideal strategy. Yeah. Um, so you good, you good, bro? You're all sussed. We got twenty six on. So if you're on, say what's up. Keen to hear who's there. Uh, Marilyn, keen to hear which one you can't hear. Sh Marilyn said, "Can't hear you. Who can't you hear?" Um, what up, Rob? Uh, no, I'm not in Kaikoura, mate, but I do like Kaikoura. It's a wonderful town. They have great crayfish, so close but no cigar. And Jeremy, what's up, brother? Um, yeah, apparently someone can't be heard. I, it, it says that I've got audio coming through. Say something. It might be you. Yeah, it might be you. So, 
Um, because when I talk, the green line is there. When you talk, the green line is not there. Can only hear Nick. Thanks, Marilyn. Can't hear John. It's probably kind of good, bro, because honestly, he talks too much and talks out his talks out his ass most of the time anyway. So, um, <laughs> bro, go back to the mic. Yeah. Uh, say it again. Ah, it's not coming through the handle. Oh. That talk now. No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> Try that one. No. Hello, hello. Ah, oh, there you go. Yep. Okay. Hey. Uh there we go. Yeah, Mara, Mara, Chung must be dropping the F-bombs. That's why it's censored him. Yeah, talks too much shit. Um, hey, guys, can't, get, can't hear you. All right, all right. So all, I think we've solved that problem now. Give us a thumbs up in the comments if he's on, but I think. Um, so no, it's not. Chung, tell us about side hustle, bro. Where you at? Hello? Yes, no, you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can hear you. Yep. All right, cool. Hold let's crack in. Let's Come on. Crack it. Eight minutes. Wasted. Go. Okay, let's go. All right. So, uh, what is a side hustle? Uh, what's it like to side hustle? Well, you kind of covered that, right? Um, yeah, keen to hear from you guys. You know, have you got a side hustle? What's it like? What are your challenges? Et cetera, et cetera. Um, well, the other thing I'll say about a side hustle, man, look, it's no different to having a small business, right? All, all businesses are kind of side hustles, man. Um, do, 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 do. So jump into some tips then. Look, and, and, and you know, so your side hustle is going to be different. And that's what I mean. Drop your comments down below, right? If you've got some challenges, Nick, do you want to let me run for like two minutes and then yeah, just so grab some Yeah, so do you want to do a couple of bits challenges? on what, what it's like to side hustle? That was our, that was our jam, yeah? Yeah, oh, you, you, you kind of did. But look, what's it like to side hustle, right? It's like you've got a day job and, um, you know, you think, oh, well, you know, most for the most part, eventually most people think, oh, look, this sucks. I'm not really going to get anywhere. Am I going to be a banker until I'm 60 and then die? You know, or an engineer or whatever it is you do. Is this me till, till I die kind of thing? Um, and then you think, you know, it's capped. You know, I'm waiting for my manager to die or win lotto. Um, and then I get a promotion, you, you know, and it's like a 5 or a 10% kind of raise. Um, what do you fucking do, right? Um, and, and so, you know, it's, it's really, really capped, right? And, and not only that, you know, I think more from a, a meaning kind of purpose mm -hmm, mm -hmm. kind of thing. You, you just, you know, you, you're a small cog in a big machine. Look, and I've coached, you know, uh, you know, CEOs or, or executive leadership teams of, of big, some of the big corporates in New Zealand. And you know what? Yeah, they get the kind of $200,000 or, you know, up to $2 million salaries or whatever, um, you know, but they still feel like a small cog um, in a big machine. Mm, mm, mm. Can't, you know, you can't make a difference, mate. And that's that's thing. That's that's the thing about it, right? Um, so there's a great leadership book for those of you who haven't read it, but I think most of you would have. It's called Drive uh, by Daniel Pink. Um, and, and you want to read that book. And he basically says, you know, he's done a whole lots of research around leadership and, you know, uh, creating high-performing teams and stuff like that. And he said it came down to three things. I put it in a different order term, um, but... You know, what everyone's really looking for in their job is uh, purpose, mastery, and autonomy. All right. You know the book, dude? Uh, I haven't read the book. No. No, I don't know that one. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, uh, purpose, mastery, and autonomy. So we, we all want to be part of something, right? Do we want to sell mm. cardboard boxes? Do we, want, do we want to sell ice to Eskimos? Do we want to sell fucking cell phone connections and, you know, get, you know, oh, what is it? Oh, geez, I don't, know. I don't even know the terms now, right? But ARR or MRR, you know, monthly recurring revenue and all that kind mm -hmm, of stuff. Mm -hmm. and, try and hit our sales quotas and all that kind of stuff so that what we get an extra five grand at the end of the quarter we get a bonus and then we i don't know buy a ferrari or a bigger screen tv or take well, kids to Disneyland. you know i think um, a lot of people start a hustle because you know um like cost of living is freaking crazy right and um you know while while your um you, you know your, your wages might pay your your kind of your, your hard fixed cost your rent and your your food and your your, your that kind of stuff but it's it's all the extra stuff that you earn after hours that allows you to do cool shit like go fishing or you know whatever you're into holidays and stuff like that so i think that um that's probably why a lot of people lean towards doing a second income hmm. 
can I check in the comments? If you do have a side hustle, why'd you start it? Or if you're thinking about starting a side hustle, why would you start it? Because mm-hmm. yeah. my feedback to that, don't fucking start a side hustle for that. That's dumb. Yeah. That's, uh, you, if you, you, you want to start a side hustle to pay the bills. Like, and so now we're going to talk about what it's like to actually side hustle. You got a job that's 40 hours plus uh, commuting, plus some odd emails outside hours. It's, dude, it's actually like kind of 45, 50, maybe even up to 60, right? And we know corporate people that work like that. And we know corporate people that are that's developing stomach ulcers. Do that too, mate. Yeah, right. And, and well, yeah, that's a whole nother topic. But what I'm saying is, yeah. And so you, if you think starting a side hustle is going to make your life better, um, if you're purely doing it for money, I don't agree with it. You know, but if you're doing it because, man, nah, I, I, I'm an accountant and I think I'm heading for a midlife crisis and I throw in my job at 50 and I buy a Ferrari and I get a 25 year old girlfriend and have a midlife crisis, oh, that's man, a good reason. Sound that bad. That's a good. That, that's a good reason to. That's a good reason to do it, right? Um, find your purpose now. If you've got a sense of your purpose, and this thing, I don't think you need to know your purpose, but I think you just got to have a sense of it. Yeah. Um, so Jeremy, you know, to go and do that. Growth, and he said, "Yeah, look, I've got a lawn mowing and landscaping, um, and he's almost got enough work to go full time now. Um, but he started out as a side hustle because living a wife is just not cheap. You know. Yeah. Cool. Right. And I, look, I think that, that that's great, man. You know, and now you've got a platform, right? And mm-hmm. I'm saying I don't recommend it. I'm not saying it doesn't work. Yeah. You know, but well, yeah, people like sell into you know what's potentially going to be quite a quite a quite a you know a viable business for them. So, and I guess that's ultimately the goal of why you start a, a side hustle, right? Uh, to 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 go into that kind of um, you know into that you know removing yourself from that corporate job where you don't have to look up someone's ass all day long <laughs> to move yeah, forward. Yeah. Oh, it's probably idealistic, but now I just think you should just try to live the life that you want, which is why I like business, you know, and I don't really care what you do and yeah, mm. financial gains. And I mean, we've, we've all read the books though. And look, I, yeah, look, I just believe the books, follow the passion, the money will come. Yeah. Um, you can go the other way around. Yeah. I just think it's a, maybe a harder road and less likely. To, to kind yeah, of get there. Yeah, Andrew's jumped in um, and he said, you know, his side hustle is a passion that he can see as a business opportunity for. So he, he and, and I know a little bit about what he does. He's into golf. He loves golf and he's got some, uh, you know, some equipment that he sells um, and, and he sort of branched into the, into turning his, his um, you know, his passion uh, into into uh, uh, a side income for him outside of his job. So, you know, I think that I think that's a really cool way that that can be done. Keen to hear from you guys though, like some of the stresses, some of the things that um, when you're out there doing, trying to build your side hustle and, you know, uh, you maybe you can't get things done because you've got, you know, your day job gets in the way or maybe there's budget constraints that you just can't spend, you know, you want to build a website or whatever it might be. But I'm keen to hear what some of the challenges are you guys have faced, um, you know, building these side hustles up. Um, I mean, maybe maybe COVID-19 might have been a, a, a challenge. I know it certainly switched my direction with videography because um all of a sudden um wasn't much opportunity to go and film things anymore so uh we kind of switched and started doing w- what we're doing now with with um with the biz shows yeah anyway i'm going to finish my point three times after you've interrupted me I'll do it again if you want, <laughs> um, mate. so mastery <laughs> uh well purpose mastery and um um autonomy right and th- so that's what we we're looking for ultimately in a job or a business right and so you want purpose you want to be you want that's what i think you want you should be doing what you want so jeremy said it's financial freedom in the future and i really do love it see that's cool if he loves it man yeah. he loves that independence that's his purpose mm. and he gets to master his own destiny and his own finances then i get it you know is he going to make a 10 million dollar business i don't know well yeah he could it's, it's, it'd be pretty hard um but it's not saying he can't do it you know um you know or even a million you know and again maybe his goals are kind of around financial freedom and so maybe you know, 200 250 grand a year is, is, is fine for him and his family mm-hmm. you know um and then autonomy man you know yeah that's it be your own boss do what you want when you want you know and if you can bring that in by the way for your employees um well when your side hustle becomes an actual hustle or an actual business uh definitely kind of bank those ones they're good uh so where were we at so yeah what's side hustling like Dude, but right, you're having a job and then you're doing this thing in the evenings, man, and on the weekends. And, and to be honest, you're not, you're always thinking about it. So if I'm honest, man, you're, you're kind of stealing time from your employer, right? When you're a side hustler, you got the odd sneaky email at lunchtime or the odd meeting, you know, the odd coffee on your break and stuff like that. But um, it, it's full on, right? Tell us what it's like to have a day job and be trying to grow fishes and biz squads. 
Yeah, no, I think the the biggest thing for me is just um, you know, the the separation of that time and um, or trying to get through like a whole day of of you know, getting out there and being effective in a day job and then trying to find the energy, um, to, you know, get on and do the site. That that's the that's the thing I think that that I find to be the biggest challenge, you know, as we're trying to grow this thing out and and um, you know, getting out there and and um having having conversations with people and um yeah it's, some days or, or you might have uh you know emergency things come up at the day job and then all of a sudden you just can't commit to um what you'd hope to do with your side hustle so it, it is it is a real challenge um and, and Corey's uh, just added a comment there saying he thinks that side hustling is often a way to test the market before diving in you know full noise um, and a way to validate your test and look 100 percent agree um 100 percent agree um it is a good strategy to get for getting started. Absolutely. Yeah, right. So coming back to you, like, yeah, I love what you're saying, Corey. I 100% agree. That's a side hustle. But I wouldn't even call that a side hustle. That's just a test. Mm. You know, and that's what we should be doing. And that's probably one of the tips for starting a side hustle. Treat it like a test. Test mm. the fuck out of it. Like, develop a plan, a robust plan. Have some goals, have some targets, and test it. You know what I mean? And don't get too attached to it. I think that's where people struggle. And it's a mindset thing. Again, it's like, man, my hopes and dreams are on the side hustle, which they only give like five hours a week or, or, you know, 10 hours a week. And it's like, man, that's a lot of pressure to put on something that you you only have the ability to invest a very little amount of resources into, you know? So just kind of let that go, have a more, I think, logical approach to it and and run it as a test. Can you share... This is, I, I want to share this insight if you're, if you're happy to do it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do we do when, when the side hustle needs marketing, needs sales, needs follow-up, needs creativity, needs content to be posted on the internet and you can't because of the day job and you, this, how do I say this? I, I'm trying to be diplomatic. Actually, I'm not the diplomatic type. And you're just starting to feel like this fucking day job fucking sucks and it's a groundhog day. Mm. How do you deal with that feeling? Because that's what's going to enable the sales and marketing to happen, you know? But how do you deal with that feeling, first of all? Um, I guess, like, it's, um, it's a good question. I think it's, you know, at the end of the day, like, fuck, sometimes you just have to feel the, feel the sh- you know, um, the, understand that that's just a part of the process and and sometimes you're just going to you're going to have to do things you don't want to do in life um that's the truth and and i know that i've got to you know um i've got to eat and i've got to have somewhere to live and i've got to do all of that kind of stuff and and a side hustle ain't gonna ain't gonna be able to su- support you know what it is that i need so um it it it, it, it certainly takes um it certainly takes a, a bit of grit um and, and 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 I know I've had days where I've been up or down on it, and and on Marilyn's comments, right? You know, you kind of do it half-assed, just and and just to test the market, and and it's certainly not that you try to be half-assed, but you're certainly not in a position to, um, you know, to be able to commit fully, um, when there is when there is um, you know, other pressures, and and those pressures are very very well, particularly in the corporate world where. Um, you know, you're expected to answer your emails in a timely manner and answer your phone at all times and all those kinds of things. So, I, I mean, I'm sure there's other people that are in that space as well. Um, you know, so keen to hear, keen to hear your perspective, but and how you're managing it. Um, but that's kind of, you know, um, and, and and so for me, if if I'm honest, it's if I've had a big day with a day job, this gets put aside because I need the rest or I need the time out. I need the emotional, mental capacity. Yeah. And and I think being got some concrete it, pills. You want some concrete pills? I'll send them down to you. Bro, I need a big box, eh? <laughs> no, 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 no. In all seriousness, no. But this is what I really want to talk about. This is what I think this show is really, really cool, man. It can we can show some real insight into it, eh? Mm-hmm. Um, right. So thank you for sharing, brother. I really, really appreciate that. We'll go to the comments, man. The comments are kind of flowing through, oh. but we've got ten minutes left. Um, let's just hit this because um, I think it's a nice segue into some tactics, right? Because yeah. now what I'm going to ask you is um what are some things you suggest that we can do as side hustlers Mm -hmm. to manage those things mitigate those risks of burnout of not even burnout i just call it emo-ness right just like oh man everything's just too hard you know um what are some of those things um but before we do that um yeah so we're going to try and keep it tight tonight so we're going to we're going to cut off in about nine minutes so is there anything you want to ask us any kind of comments you want to drop um or any questions you want to ask drop those now um, Nick's going to wrap about, uh, you know, some suggestions he has around overcoming those things. 
because that's what really is going to affect your side hustle, right? It's not the marketing and the sales and all that kind of stuff. You can download an ebook somewhere about that. But when you can, if you can share <laughs> some tips on how to manage, if you can share some insight into how to manage you, um, man, all of that stuff's going to come. But we, we can we can drop that out if you want that too. I've got like four tips written down here if you guys want that kind of. We'll, we'll, stuff. we'll leave that. We'll leave that for for closing. Um, so just hit that comment and we'll move forward. Okay, Andrew Sutherland. Uh, that feeling gives me the drive to take the side hustle and make it more. It makes me want to grow it to the point that it becomes my main hustle. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Oh, dude, can I grab this? Like, so you were talking about this feeling of this, like, you know, stuck in a rock place or, or, or you know, everything sucks or my day job sucks kind of thing. And he's like, he's using that as drive. Hmm. And I love that. I think that's a real entrepreneur. You know, um, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Like that is yeah, that yeah, yeah. so encapsulates the spirit of an entrepreneur. Hey, so, so we're clear. I don't hate my day job. It just it, it can be draining. So just, just so we're clear. <laughs> just so we're clear, because you know I do I do enjoy being around people, and that's a big part of what I do. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, we're exaggerating to make a point. I yeah, think. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks to our corporate sponsors, by the way. We love you. Yeah. <laughs> um, we we appreciate you funding him so that he can stream in his um. I don't know. What are you in an Airbnb or like a hotel or a? On, shall mate. I speculate further? More style than that. <laughs> I'm in a resort. That's where I am. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. Yeah. No. So yeah. Can you tell us? Um. What are some What are some tips that you you have? I love that. By the way, Andrew, you, you're bang on, brother. And that that's what I think is good fuel. You know. It's, mm. Yeah. It's to make money, but that's like a, a very close second. But like your first thing is just, man, my situation has got lemons and I'm going to go make some lemonade. Mm -hmm. Like, I love, love that. It. Love it. Right, so last last slide, is is, is is that where we're going? Tips to growing, growing yeah. your side hustle? Yeah. Yeah. What, what, so, yeah, how, how, how do you, what do you suggest people do when they're having that, in that situation like this? I mean, look, first of all, be, you know, it's, it's self-care first. We talk about this shit so often, self-care <laughs> mindset. You know, if you're in a, um, if you're in a space of, you know, freaking you know being a having a down day just accept it you know that's going to happen and um you know self-care eat some eat something good go for some exercise whatever it is you got to do to get to get to get like back into that flow space um that, that's going to happen um you know if it happens once or twice or whatever you get it but if it starts to become a consistent pattern that's when you need to start in, un, in investigating your own mindset and your and your own habits and figuring out why that's happening and looking for the triggers um so that's that's kind of on the emotional side and the the um you know the mindset that the kind of the first and foremost stuff because you're not going to grow a side hustle if, you, if you're not present but i think then it's about being um very like getting out there and actually making shit happen you know um I'm doing this tour uh, around the South Island this week, and so one of the opportunities I've taken is just to meet people um, fr from this group around, around the South Island, and 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 just growing, growing my sphere in this space of of, of masterminding and and and, and um, advising, and and so it's been a, a a real, it's given me a lot of energy doing that, if that makes sense. So I've, I've used, um, you know, I've I've used the opportunity of my day job as an opportunity to grow my sphere within this space at the same time hmm. nice i like it i like how you went to the kind of mindset right and doing what you can um look i'll, I'll jump to some uh, here's some strategies right have some goals guys get really clear on your goals you know again we've got a, i think we've got a goals like worksheet or something right mm -hmm. have we still got that goals uh, goals yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We just dropped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the internet just went a little bit slow then. Um, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Have, anyway, have goals. Have a plan. Get a mentor, and know that you're climbing a mountain, and you're only allowed to climb that mountain pretty much ten percent of the time that anyone who has a full week committed to their business does. Yeah. You know. So I think yeah, yeah you're right. You got to be out there hustling. Right, and we know that, man, um, a business works something like this, you know, you, you get a feel for your market and you think there's a gap in the market, then you develop some products and, uh, or services and then you've you, you got to tell them about it. So you do some marketing and then hopefully you do some sales, you do some delivering of that product or service and then you bring some money back. Basic kind of um, ecosystem 
um, or, or sequence of environment of a business, right? Yeah, how do how do so we know that that's going to happen, but your, yours is like 10% of that because you're only, you've only got 10% of, mm, of time mm, that mm. full-time business owners have. So I think it's why go out and hustle, but also be mindful that it's going to take, a, in theory, it should take 10 times longer because you've only got yeah. 10%, so to speak, you know? And especially, but, I think, if it's your first go at it too, right? Your first go at anything entrepreneurial. Yeah. And then, you know, smart people like Corey Hine and stuff like that, they'll have hacks on kind of how to speed that up, right? And that's why you get kind of business coaches and stuff like that, because again, they, they've got objectivity and independence and they might know some hacks uh, and they can give that to you. Um, Marilyn, your tips for growing um, a new business. Actually, I'm going to ask her because she's been around and she's seen a lot of stuff. Um, um, but more specifically, I think, so we, I was speaking to, yeah, um, one of our viewers, I guess you call them, um, before the show and they were kind of talking about um, the, the side hustle needs more. It, it really, really needs more. And so two tactical tips I want to give you now is one, um, and Daniel, if you're still tuned in too, this was this is one for you too, right? Where we look at starting to compress, and we've talked about this too, Nick, right? Where we compress our day job down from five days to four days or four days to three days or whatever and compress that down so that we can slowly, and right, it's like this, we kind of, we go like that with the side hustle, whereas I think a lot of us, when we kind of start out side hustling, we think, oh man, it's going to make $10,000 a month and I'm just going to quit my day job and jump over to this camp. Sweet. And it's like, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but really it's it's like this. And so, but, it, you know, if this is your 100% capacity, it goes like this. So you're actually yeah. operating at like 110, 120, 110 yeah. at some point. You, you, you know, and um, but that's the life of side hustle, and I think people miss that. People don't get that when they when they start out. And the other thing is just build a financial bridge, man. Right? Um, get an investor, get a loan, whatever you want to do, but or just save, you know, three months worth in your um in your, into your bank account of your living expenses. Obviously, if you can live leaner, you can jump ship a lot early and give yourself three months. And the other thing I'll say is, when it comes to when do I go? Arguably, you want to have a bit of a track record around, uh, you know, sales, leads, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and sales. And you know what you want? You want um, a, a nice future runway, right? And you got to think about it like an investor. When would an investor invest in a business? When they can see future revenues coming in, yeah. right? And so that's when you want to jump. And it, 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 it's very specific. I mean, I'm happy to jump on a call with anyone if they kind of, they yeah, think they're that. near that point and they want to get a feel for it. Um, hit us up in the DMs or in the inbox um, or in the comments down below or wherever um find me um or find us and um oh yeah how hard is it um probably a million jung chuns in the world actually it's probably more famous than john smith um well not famous used but yeah look that's, that's probably isn't my tips right isn't, isn't it lee isn't lee the most common? yeah 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 okay. but uh jung is right up there because it's korean and chinese so. and and european right like carl jung jung Young, uh, but yeah, that's my tips, man. You know, yeah, get out there, hustle as hard as you can, but also be patient because I personally don't enroll in that Gary V shit like work from 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. every night. Mm. Like, yeah, that's it's, like it's not sustainable. Have a shit life, go have a shit life. It's like, yeah. nah, no thanks, dude. Mm. I'm doing business, so I don't have a shit life, so I have a great life. So, but that's just me. Some people learn to that. Cool, bro. Uh, we've hit 30, so what's up? Okay. Well, you were reading some comments. Do you want to? Oh uh, yeah, just Marilyn or? said, you know, you got to keep strong with the shit, uh, uh, and you know, keep the shit out of it, and and it doesn't really work. Try something else. You know, you'll win with passion. Yeah, and I think I think that's right. Um, particularly if you're getting 100%. started, right? With it, with 100 percent, Marilyn. And, and be prepared to sort of shift and and um, it kind of like you know, I was doing the videography stuff, and I still love making video. Um, but we've sort of seen seen that there's there's a, a real um real shift with going online and stuff and, and far more opportunity for us to share a message doing what we're doing here uh, as opposed to um, sort of just keep banging on that thing about videography. And I actually got uh, some videography work come through today, um, which, is, which is really cool, which I wasn't even looking for. Um, but yeah, so, so that's kind of a, was it kind of a cool, cool part to it. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. I love that, eh, man? And that's what I think, man. Like, man, I know that sounds weird, man, but honestly, so I love, I love Marilyn's comment, man. Keep strong. Um, keep the shit out of it. If it doesn't try something out, uh, if it doesn't work, try something else. You will win with passion, and that's what I mean. Like, so and Marilyn, like Marilyn's been in the um, building websites game or digital marketing game, digital enablement oh, game for like 
20 years or some shit. You, you check out our website. What, throw up your website, Marilyn. Um, right, check out this website. This is a good website. It's, it's gangster, who, yeah, it really is. It's gangster as fuck. Any marketer, anyone who visits this website will know that it's a badass motherfucking website. And what I'm saying is um, passion is the word she used. You know, and so that's what I, I'm on the other end of the spectrum because I'm, 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 I'm coaching. She's an experienced entrepreneur and, and I'm saying the same thing. I'm just trying to say the same thing. Don't start it for profit. Yeah, you mm-hmm. might, you know, but don't be that, let that be your pure thing because who was the, um, the Waiheke dude? Like that's bang on. Like he started it for profit, but it very quickly turned into something that he loved. Yeah. And that's, that, that will give you the gas that it needs to continue on this long, ugly, innovative, pivoting fucking you know changing adapting fucking journey that you need to be as a business owner because mm-hmm. let's say electric lawnmower is coming you've got to find a new way to do that thing or maybe out, a big man. right no i mean um you know ai robotic um lawnmowers, robotic or a, lawnmowers. a big franchise oh, comes into white hickey you don't know your lawnmower. no 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 but oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, Horrible job. Um, you know, but a big competitor. Like anyway, anyway the point of the thing is that like a significant change happens in his market where his products and services aren't relevant anymore. And he's going to have to adapt and change. But because he loves it, he's mm. going to be able to do that. Mm. 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 You know, but if he's just chasing money, he, he's just going to, yeah, it's just not going to work. Marilyn will tell you that too, man. You know, she's seen players come and go, right, yeah, in the Austin website Digital, building Austin game. Digital.co.nz, just posted it Hit up now. that website, guys. Like, that's a good website. Like, yeah, but that, and Marilyn will tell you this too. Right. The other thing I think, about, just while we're touching on websites, is shit. That that that's probably version ten at it's least, like, yeah, right, Marilyn. Yeah. You don't build your first one and lo- don't look like that. And you know, yeah, it takes a few versions to get like that. By the way. And so that's the thing. Yeah, I agree with it. You got to pivot. You got to fucking pivot. But you you got to adapt. <laughs> write an ebook about it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, write a fucking ebook about it. Okay, cool. Uh, right, Richard's update. Oh, well, we did that. Yeah, I mean, we'll we pretty much discuss it the whole way through tonight, but inadvertently. But yeah, um, this got masterminds. Uh, a few people apply with us. We've had some conversations with a few of you. Um, it's looking really, really exciting. Yep. Marilyn's one of them. Um, Marilyn's going to be in a biz squad, man. If you want some experienced business go, yeah. wisdom, man, head up the biz squad. Can I? Oh, can I jam? I know we're late, but yeah, I'm going to jam. But... I'll give you two minutes. I'll be generous. Oh, you know, I only need one minute. Look, so our big thing, guys, is, um, yeah, doing this, right? And this is just us trying to give as much value as we can. Man, we've got some serious viewers. Like, I, I get inboxes all the time, well, not all the time, but sometimes about people. Man, I love the show. I love what you're doing. I'm like, shit, dude. All I do is swear every two minutes. Um, so I'm glad. Mouth, mate. Yeah, I know, man. Um, but I'm glad that you're getting some value. And then, you know, the other thing um, – that, that we really want to do is, is this biz squad, man. I'm super excited about this, right? And this is not me marketing or pitching or whatever. Well, maybe it fucking is. I don't care. But, dude, I'm super excited <laughs> about this, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm super excited about this, man, because what you know what we're doing? We're getting little groups of business owners together to help each other out, man. You know, so any challenges you're having, oh, I don't know how to build a cash flow report. I don't know how to do more marketing. I don't know how to do Instagram. I don't know when I should quit my day job to build my side hustle. I don't know how to deal with shitty employees. We're going to get you together with other business owners that, yeah, they might have read some ebook about it or so heard some guru talking hey, about it on the internet exactly or watched some workshop today. seminar. You know, I had three businesses right. there today and it was such a powerful session. And that Dude, hour, you gave me like one minute. Okay, I cool. Told you, I gave you, a minute. <laughs> you said two, bro. Oh, yeah, well, I lied. Deal with it. I'm going to have to get cue cards for you. Can't talk, can talk. Okay, cool. Yeah, how was it? How was it, right? So, so you, guys so, you know, it was today. really interesting. We had uh, an accountant. A safety advisor and an immigration advisor there today and you know um really really interesting different phases of business one to be going uh, a year one to be nearly 20 years and another one uh, about six months and really interesting to see that some of the cha- the challenges that, that were faced although uh, quite unique um were were actually that each person around the table really related to the challenge that one or the other was bringing up um, oh yeah, I faced that too in my business, and this is what I did. And there is so much more power in that than there is um, because you know you get these realizations from working alongside people that are in that that are in the they're in the grind, they're in the same space as you. And so that's look, that's the power of the biz squad. So you know, um, Rick, just get involved with it. <laughs> yeah, bro, give us one closing out um, point and uh, on. Side hustles. 
So side hustle is just like any business, man. Do it because you love it. Try to evolve it into something that you love and that you will do for free and therefore you will never stop doing uh, and keep going. Be patient and hustling hard. Love it. All right, guys. Shop for jamming with you and see you next week. Oh, by the way, it's Westport. <laughs>